Hello and welcome to the week that was in manufacturing, where TM's editorial team sit down and discuss the best uh, new stories to come out of the sector this week. I'm Victoria Fitzgerald and joining me is TM's editor Callum Bentley. So let's begin with a statement from Tata who have come out saying how beneficial it is for the company, uh, for the UK to be a member of the European Union. Yeah, so the announcement, well, the, the, the comment came from Tata Sun's Group Executive Council member, uh, Mr Namali Akuma. And he told the BBC earlier in the week that uh, having access to the European single market made trading easier. Um, he said that seeing the business benefits originating from the EU is, is not rocket science and added that it's easier to export stuff out of Britain. Um, you don't have to do the paperwork as much. Uh, you don't have any import duties. Now, obviously, there's, it, it's not too surprising that they've said this considering Tata's stake in the UK. It's the UK's largest industrial employer. Mm -hmm. The last count was a, a, an employee base of around 65,000. Um, taking in companies such as Tetley T, Jaguar Land Rover, Rover obviously, um, and Tata Steel as well. So considering the products they're manufacturing in the UK, it makes sense that they'd be in favour for, mm -hmm. for an easier access to EU and by staying in the EU, then obviously that's that's accessible yeah, for them. Absolutely, but of course, but the statement uh, doesn't come out of the blue, it comes in conjunction with the report that 250 jobs are at stake at the Sam Werner site in Wales. Yeah, that's right, so not great news. Uh, the South Wales uh, based strip products manufacturing facility um, management has basically told employees that in order to cut costs they need to start focusing on producing uh, sort of high value products. Now when you look at where the UK sits on the world's steel production ladder. Um, I think we're around 18. You've got countries such as India and China that are sitting right up the top there, so the cost to produce steel out of those companies is obviously a lot less. Yeah. Um, so I can understand why they're looking at producing more of a niche product or, or high value products, as they say, to, to find a different access into the market. Um, but as you said, it comes at a cost. In order to do this, they're looking at cutting jobs as well. And I think the unions came out this week saying that it could, there could be up to around 250 jobs that are, that are at stake because of the, the move. Yeah, and of course, we'll be keeping a, an eye on that story and keeping you up to date with it. Um, in more positive news uh, for UK manufacturing, a British company called Open Bionics have won the coveted UK James Dyson Award. Uh, Cal, can you tell us a little bit more about why they've won this? Yeah, so the, the product that Open Bionics, they're a Bristol company, um, that they've produced is it's a, a, an improvement on traditional prosthesis. Uh, prosthesis. Um, due to the fact that it can produce much cheaper and, and quicker mm -hmm. and through the use of 3D printing, additive manufacturing. So what they do is uh, the company does a scan of the part of the arm where the prosthetic will attach. Um, this is then fed into a, a 3D printer that fabricates a, a fully customised socket which attached to the user's arm. Um, and from there, the socket will also contain small electrodes which will actually detect muscular impulses um, and, and this allows the, the wearer to control the movements of the hands and the fingers. It's an amazing bit of technology um, that's produced using basically off-the-shelf 3D printers that anyone can get. Um, so, yeah, through the, through the use of the commercial 3D printing, uh, 3D printers made by Open Bionics, um, it, it's really going to reduce the costs and the speed at which these products can be produced. So, um, yeah, it, an awesome piece of tech produced here in the UK and, and thought up here in the UK, which is absolutely. really encouraging to see. Yeah, it, it, it sounds absolutely incredible and, and a great achievement for UK innovation. Mm. And of course now Open Bionics have reached the international stage of the competition, so they'll be competing against products all over the globe, so we wish them a lot of luck absolutely. Um, with that. Um, so finally, TM has started compiling this year's uh, annual manufacturing report, and this is your opportunity to have a say on the UK manufacturing landscape. Uh, it's divided into six areas, that is economy, skills, ICT, automation, finance and servitisation. And it only takes five minutes to uh, have your say, right? Yeah, that's right, Vic. So this is, I think we're going into, the, this will be the ninth year we've produced the uh, annual manufacturing report. Um, it's our largest piece of research that we do track in the industry each year. Um, we've had improved growth year on year of people responding to it, so our data sets are getting bigger. Um, we're able to track the industry a lot better through that. Um, so this year we're really encouraging everyone to get on board, particularly we've got the new section around services as well, servitisation. It's the big buzzword, 
but it's a really important uh, area of the, the manufacturing landscape that we're trying to start tracking as well. But there's a benefit to you as well if you want to jump on and, and fill out these surveys or make sure you get them around to the relevant areas of your business to make sure we can cover all the sectors as well. But if you do, we're offering a complimentary six month gold, gold membership to the manufacturer uh, it, just by filling out the survey. So yeah, get on, fill out that survey, get it back to us and make sure that we can keep producing the best report tracking the UK manufacturing landscape. Absolutely. And don't forget, you can read all about these stories and more, including in-depth uh, articles and interviews at themanufacturer.com. And also keep up to date with TM on Twitter at The Manufacturer. Um, that's all from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.